Hey, Anissa here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week we are on a part two of a video series that I'm doing. And it had to do with Jim's question that we talked about last week where he'd watched some of my videos and um, there was one where someone had asked about customer complaints and, and, and how you handle those and I talked about the fact that we really don't get them, at least very, not very darn often in our company, and he wanted to know how, like how, how was that possible? And so I was talking about what we call the SO system, which is where we set up our clients, we educate them, and then we wow them. So. This week we're talking about the second step in that process and we're talking about educating them. One of the biggest mistakes that I see restoration contractors making is when they come up on a job or they're in there with a homeowner and they're talking with them, answering maybe questions for them, but they're using all this lingo like depreciation and ACV and salvaged and non-salvaged. Homeowners don't understand this lingo exactly, okay? Like they may not at all. Um, so you need to be sure that you explain to them what is depreciation on a structure? What's depreciation on contents? They're very different between the two of them. They need to understand how that's gonna work. They need to understand what's ACV, RCV, actual cash value versus replacement cash value. What's the difference between the two? Now, I'm gonna just say this right now. I'm really hoping that your adjuster is doing a lot of education with their client as well and walking them through this process. But I don't want you relying on that adjuster because they may not be. In fact, the adjuster may not, they may be MIA. They may actually never physically show up on this job site. And so your homeowner maybe only has a phone that they can converse with this person and it may not be enough uh, for them to feel com confident and comfortable in the situation. So again, this is on you to make sure that your client's gonna be happy in the end. Don't make that the adjuster's responsibility. So you wanna educate them on the processes that you're using. If they have any concerns, it will hopefully alleviate them. You know, for instance, when I'm doing ultrasonic, I actually talk to my clients about the fact that I use ultrasonic. I talk about the fact that I use hydroxyl for deodorizing and how does that process work? So, I, I, you know, and again, don't give them a biology lesson here, you guys. Don't like, you know, overwhelm them. This is a process that's gonna go on throughout the claim. But, you know, what if you start talking about code updates? I, I can guarantee you most homeowners have no idea what that is. So if you start talking about code updates being covered or not covered um, because of a conversation with the adjuster, you could really lose your client quickly and they're gonna get really concerned, especially if you start using terms like covered and not covered. The other thing I really wanna give you a caution here, education, absolutely vital, absolutely important for you to do with your client. But I want you to be very careful here. Do not become the adjuster, okay? Do not educate your client about what their insurance policy will and won't cover. That is not your job, it's not your call, it's not your liability. You need to leave that up to the insurance company or you could get yourself in a really bad situation, really get between a rock and a hard spot if you say, oh yeah, that should be covered on the claim and on your policy and then the adjuster shows that it's not, okay? So be very careful there with that. But educating your client about what, what you're doing and how you're doing it and asking them questions. Ask them how they're feeling. You know, your client might need some reassurance or to understand a certain aspect of this job, but you don't know that. So listen, ask them questions, but whatever you do, be very frank and very realistic with your client, okay? Now, speaking of that, frank and realistic, we're gonna go into that really deep detail next week on the third part of the SO system that we've set up in our company. And that is where we're gonna get into the wow them part. Okay, well hopefully you found this video valuable. Please let me know, comment below wherever you're watching the video. Uh, be sure you are a subscriber. And uh, don't forget, go to rnrmagonline.com if you are not watching this video there and subscribe to the e-newsletter and you'll get this and lots of other goodies in your email inbox every Friday. On that note, thanks for spending some time with me and you have a great day.